Thank Welcome you. to Bloomberg Queen. We are in conversation with Mr. Dilip Piramal, the chairman of VIP Industries, and we are here to take stock of how the festive season has turned out, how the holiday season is expected to play out, especially the wedding season going in, and what we can expect going forward. Mr. Piramal, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's start with that very question. How has traction been for the ongoing quarter right now? Because, uh, well, we've had the Philip and Festival season as well as the fact that we are moving into weddings uh, what's your reading like right now well uh, this quarter also as I had uh, forecast earlier we are uh, expecting sales to grow by about uh, between 5 and 10 percent and that is what is happening all right, but um, five, five and ten percent is that? Would that be a satisfying uh, well, a growth rate for you, considering what we have been used to in the same quarter over the past few years, Mr. Piramal? Well, this year the growth rate has come down, and uh, like last year we were growing at 20, 25 percent. But this year there is a downturn and our growth rate has been 5 to 10 percent and that is the case with uh, most consumer companies. Uh, so so how, yeah. I would say it is in line with the trend. All right, sir. So, and can you tell us a little more about how we are seeing uh, promotions, advertising and perhaps discounts that are being offered? No, there's nothing new. I mean, uh, we are not offering any extra discounts. Sometimes it is tactical in some very few ranges, but nothing that is there all the time. Right. So, so in, in terms we, of we don't work on discounts. I mean, that is not a way to increase sales. Okay, sir. So in that case, sir, the, I'm, I'm just reading about the, your top three brands in the, in uh, well, according to the reports, and we just wanted a better idea of how you are seeing. Well, sales pan out for your top three brands. Is it the premium end or is it the mass end that is doing well at this point? Uh, what is uh, seeing a little more traction as compared to the other? Well, mo mo most of the, all the brands are uh, growing at the same rate. So there is not much difference between the brands because there is equal competition and each brand size is determined. So. Uh, it's more or less evenly distributed. All right, sir. So um, I'm also see, reading a lot from in terms of competition. So, uh, well, and if you could, you know, tell us how things are panning out there. Now, the first uh, aspect is, of course, we do know that VIP has a significant large market share. Uh, is there a, a lot of con well, contraction or expansion for that matter there? The second part is how is pricing well, developing considering the, the competition right now? How are these two aspects playing out? Well, comp there is very limited competition in our industry. In fact, there are only uh, two large players, and uh, then there is the third smaller player, which is also very quite large in the economy <coughs> segment. So competition is there, but uh, if you compare to other industries, it's not so much. And uh, I would say our margins are quite good. That is a good feature, that our margins are quite good. So all in all, uh, uh, we are satisfied after ex having accepted that the growth rate is uh, much lower than what has what was there last year. All right. So also a word on input prices. If you can tell us anything about that, and has that had an impact on your gross margins? And of course, uh, uh, considering the pricing that you are holding uh, in terms of your baggage right now. As I said, the margins are good, so that is a function of input pricing and selling prices. So both are uh, fairly, we have nothing to complain on that. All right, uh, sir, if you could just leave us with a little more in terms of the outlook for the second half, because that is exactly what I wanted to come to. Uh, the, the report I'm reading is also about suggestion that not just the third quarter, but the fourth quarter could also see uh, a, a likely pickup, which means that your entire financial year may improve quite substantially on the back of the second half. Uh, what can you tell us about that? 
No, I don't think that at the moment there is any such uh, thinking. In fact, we are uh, forecasting the same that we growth rate will be between 5 to 10 percent. Okay, okay, Mr. Biramal. So, but right. one is always uh, optimistic. All right, so uh, just a word on uh, the impact on in terms of consumer sentiment. So you're suggesting that there hasn't been uh, a significant improvement in consumer sentiment, and neither has there been a big change uh, given the kind of sentiment in terms of travel or for that matter, the need to buy more baggage right now. Considering you operate in a discretionary industry, uh, there hasn't been a substantial change right now, and you do not expect a substantial change in the fourth quarter. Yes, that's right. But like the automobile industry is doing, has done better in the last month. So that is a good, very positive trend. But uh, on the whole, the consumer segment uh, is uh, subdued. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Piramal, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us through the outlook for the company. Thank you.